Hey guys, so today I wanted to do just a fun, laid back, chatty kind of video where we're just talking about, we're just talking about makeup. We're just talking about what we love the most, makeup, beauty products. And um, the concept for today's video, because I've done stuff like this in the past, I've done, you know, hero products from my favorite brands or um, the best and worst of favorite brands. This is a little bit different. This is a video about iconic brands like brands that I feel like are pillars in the makeup community. So they're not necessarily trendy. They're not necessarily like the biggest brands right now or the brands that everyone's talking about. But these are brands that I feel like, you know, no matter what your taste in makeup is, you know these brands. You may not even be into makeup and you know these brands. These are those brands. Um, and so I wanted to talk about what product it is that I associate with these brands. It's like, you know, if you close your eyes and I throw out a brand name, like what's the first product that comes to mind? So that's sort of the concept of this video. I thought it was kind of fun, you know, just kind of like going through it, going through this list in my head. And I also really wanted to stick with brands that were like just beauty brands. They weren't like, like Chanel is a fashion house and then they created a beauty line. Tom Ford, a fashion house created a beauty line. Dior, same thing. So I'm not talking about those brands today. I'm really focusing on those, like I was saying, like those those pillars of the makeup community. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start with a brand that is one that my mother loved. Um, it is all those things that I just mentioned. It is a household name. It is, you see it everywhere, magazine ads, TV ads, you know, billboards, everything. And that is Lancome. When I think of Lancome, of course, there's a ton of things that come up because they are a brand that's been around forever. And uh, for me personally, you know, I close my eyes and I think of mascara. And uh, the first mascara that I think, you know, that kind of entered my radar and probably because I was just getting into makeup then. And, and if you guys have been watching me since the very beginning, I am not someone that even wore mascara. Um, but the Monsieur Big mascara was huge, huge. Like right when I was kind of really getting into YouTube and really kind of playing around with a lot of makeup and really getting into mascara. And I remember everyone talking about the Monsieur Big mascara and people were looking for dupes for that mascara. I feel like it hit the market like right after Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara was like huge. And then I feel like it was the Lancome Monsieur Big. I'm probably like messing up the timeline, but anyway, um, that's what I think of when I think of uh, Lancome is mascara and the Lashy Doll mascara is one of my favorites. But most recently they came out with this Le Huit, uh Hypnos mascara. And this is a serum infused mascara. And I just talked about this mascara in my favorites because I love, love, love the fluffiness that it gives my lashes. It's not like a, like a separating um, spider leggy kind of mascara. It really is like fluffy. And I really, really like that. It gives my lashes like this soft kind of look, but it's serum infused. And I have found that my lashes, I've been wearing this pretty consistently over the past month or so. I feel like my lashes are longer for sure. And they're also really like, soft they feel they feel like they've been conditioned and this is not something i think about when i think about my eyelashes they, they just sort of are what they are but they're very very coarse they grow straight they grow straight down and so yeah just for me to even notice the fact that they're like softer and yeah just like a little bit lighter to the touch is really really interesting. So the packaging is really awesome. This is glass and it is a bit big. It is a bit bulky, but it is just gorgeous. I love like the soft curves in there. And then the wand is really neat because it is um, like eight sided. So you can see that there's like an hourglass shape. When I turn it this way, it becomes flat. Uh, the bristles are different. They're more loosely packed over here. So it's just a really, really interesting wand. And like, no matter what your taste is in a wand, I feel like you'll find your preference in this wand. So I just kind of turn it as I apply. You know, I'll swipe, swipe, turn, swipe, swipe, turn. And I feel like I get like volumizing. And then I feel like I get a side where it like really brushes through my lashes. It's just a really, really awesome wand. And another thing that I really love about Lancome mascaras, they never ever budge. 
They never smudge. Um, I don't feel like the texture of them changes throughout the day. Like they don't start to flake. Um, they don't clump up. Um, they're not sticky, nothing like that. But they're really, really easy to remove at the end of the day, which I know a lot of mascaras can be really challenging. And I should mention this uh, mascara is not waterproof, but it, it behaves like it's waterproof while it's on, but then when you wanna remove it, it behaves like it's not waterproof. It's just magical, I love it. And that's what I think of when I think of Lancome. I think of their mascaras. Okay, next up I wanted to talk about Bobbi Brown. Bobbi Brown is a brand that has been around since I believe the 90s, right? I feel like when I personally was getting into makeup, Bobbi Brown was like around and like just starting to grow. And um, there's definitely a lot of products I feel like I think of when I close my eyes and I think of Bobbi Brown. And I went to the, I went to the Google, I went to the Google to see like what the most popular products were if I like did a search for Bobbi Brown, what came up or what auto filled or, uh, you know, what were some of the best sellers off of the website. And this is the one that came up and that I would have personally picked as well. And this is the Vitamin Enrich Face Base from Bobbi Brown. This is such an incredible primer. It is like a very cushiony kind of moisturizing primer, but I know it works. I have very dry, sensitive skin. I know it works for skin that's even oilier. I've heard uh, women with oily skin really love, love, love this product. And it's such a beautiful, it's a beautiful like moisturizer and it's a great primer because it's really, really smoothing. And my makeup always looks wonderful over this. So I'm not really surprised that this is the most popular kind of product, but this is definitely the one that like I think of when I think of Bobbi Brown. Okay, the next brand is MAC. Now I don't talk about MAC very often uh, on my channel, but MAC is much like Bobbi Brown, uh, you know, is one of those brands that when I was getting into makeup was huge. Like I can't even tell you how many twig lip liners and spice lipsticks me and all of my friends went through. Like that was the combination, twig and spice, twig and spice. That's what everyone, everyone wore. Um, and when I think of MAC, when I close my eyes and I imagine MAC, I think of their Fix Plus. I feel like if I really focus long enough, I can even smell the Fix Plus, you know, Fix Plus has that very like distinct, I guess it's a fragrance. I don't know if it's just the scent of the product or if it's added fragrance, but it's very, very distinct. And I don't feel like there's any other product out there that smells like it. If there is, please comment down below, but there's no other product that smells like it because it's not even like a floral or a citrus or anything, except for these like flavored ones. I'm actually holding up the coconut, but like the original Fix Plus, it has such a distinct, yeah, it has such a distinct smell to it, but that for me, I mean, again, when it comes to MAC, I feel like their lipsticks are really, really iconic. Their lip liners. Um, I feel like they've gone through so many different um, eyeshadows and stuff, but maybe their eyeshadow singles. Um, but really what I think of, it, it's always Fix Plus. Yeah, this definitely is what comes to mind when I think of MAC. And next up, Laura Mercier. I, I don't, this is not gonna be long because it's their translucent loose setting powder. I feel like this, I, I only have like this little, uh, this little size, this travel size, uh, because I don't actually get along with this powder personally. It's very, very drying. If I use just a little bit, like the teeniest bit, it looks fine on my skin, but I can go overboard very, very quickly. It looks very drying on my more mature skin. Um, but I, I, think, I think you'd have to agree with me that when it comes to Laura Mercier, it is all about this powder. It's what people talk about. It's probably their bestseller. Um, I love the glowy ones that they came out with. I can't remember the name, but they came out with ones that are basically highlighters and I use it as highlight. I think, I think they call it a setting powder. I would definitely not use it as a setting powder. It's really, it's really just a highlighter because it's that glowy. Um, and I do love that powder. But yeah, this is, uh, this is just synonymous with Laura Mercier. It's like, oh, loose powder. Laura Mercier's powder, Laura Mercier's powder. Like, it's just like one and the same. So yeah, this is definitely for me, like the, the product I think of when I think of Laura Mercier. Okay, next up is NARS. Now NARS is a brand that's been around forever, forever. And uh, again, I feel like it was during this like Bobbi Brown Mac time. Uh, I was getting into makeup and NARS, had just maybe just recently launched. Anyway, I feel like NARS has been around ever since I have, you know, really fallen in love with makeup. And for me 
personally, it's like when I kind of close my eyes and I think about NARS, I definitely see orgasm. <laughs> they have a lot of orgasm products, a lot of products centered around that one blush, right? It was a blush. That was the first thing, but they have, you know, a, a, an orgasm highlighter. They have a lip gloss. They have lipstick, like a whole orgasm situation. Um, I am not personally a fan of the orgasm shade. It doesn't, I don't know. It, it looks weird on my skin. I don't know what it is. It doesn't look the way it looks in the pan. It changes. Um, but anyway, another product that I feel like is just synonymous with NARS is their radiant creamy concealer. Right, don't you feel like it's just like you think of NARS and you you just picture this like little tube, the design of this tube, the font, like everything has not changed about this concealer in decades. And this is actually much like the Laura Mercier. This concealer doesn't actually work underneath my eyes. It makes my under eyes look very, very aged. But this concealer I discovered actually recently works really well on my face. So if I wanna cover up sunspots or whatever, this is a really, really good one. I just can't use it underneath my eyes. But we're not talking about me. We're talking about the brand here. And yeah, the Radiant Creamy Concealer, I would say like even if you're not a NARS fan, like this, this is probably a product you've either tried, have been tempted to try, have definitely heard of, Radiant Creamy Concealer. Next up is Guerlain. Guerlain is, I believe, the oldest perfume house in France, I think. Don't quote me on that, but I think when I went into the boutique, that's what they told me. Anyway, they are known for their perfumes, for sure. But when it comes to makeup, I think you cannot get away from the idea of the meteorites <laughs> when you think of Guerlain. These little pearly balls of goodness. They are just magic, absolute magic on the skin. I love meteorites. As you guys know, I love using it as a finishing powder. I pair it up with the Buffer Pro from Sonia G and it just, oh, my skin just looks like marble after I use this like smooth, it has that beautiful sheen. Anyway, this tin and these pearls, I feel like when you think of Guerlain, you think of these pearls for sure and the scent of them, the appearance of them, the appearance of them in this tin, that sound, I mean, everything. I just feel like this is just Guerlain. Think of Guerlain, I think of pearls. All right, next up, I want to talk about By Terry. Now, uh, Terry, the founder behind By Terry, I don't know how to pronounce her last name, so I'm just gonna say Terry, um, but she used to be the like creative director behind YSL. She's the one that created that YSL, that like brightening pen that everyone loves. Um, and By Terry is her brand, her very own brand. And I couldn't decide, I, I feel like maybe, maybe it has switched. So I would say originally, or maybe if I did this video like two years ago, I would say the Hyaluronic Hydro Powder was like the By Terry product. You close your eyes and you would see this tub of powder, of, of white powder. She has since come out with tinted powder, which is what I'm holding up. Um, but this Hyaluronic Hydro Powder, it, I mean, people love this powder. And for me, I had to learn how to use it because I felt like it made my skin a little bit dry looking. Again, if I was careful with it, it was fine. Um, but I learned how to use it for my particular needs and my particular skin. Um, I actually just use like a fingertip and I press it into like my under eye area and just, it just like looks super smooth. It like really sets down my concealer. It's wonderful. I think the idea of infusing like hyaluronic acid into a powder was fairly new, if not kind of created by, by Terry. Uh, I'm not sure again, don't quote me, but I do remember thinking this was like really revolutionary. Um, and so I definitely think of this powder when I think of by Terry. And again, if I was doing this video two years ago, I would just stop there. But I think more recently, more people are really like getting turned on to this brightening CC serum. I have it in Sunny Glow. I actually have it in like all of the shades, but Sunny Glow is what I use and what I love to use, especially in the summertime to give me like a bronzy base. It is so gorgeous. I think it's always been very popular, but I think it's becoming more and more of an iconic product to this iconic brand. Um, so I did want to mention the brightening CC serum. And then I did want to talk about Clinique. Clinique is also another brand I don't talk about very often on my, um, on my channel, but I have talked about them in terms of like that foundation that I love. It looks like a Weeble Wobble bottle. I can't remember the name, but it's a very full coverage foundation. It's my favorite full coverage foundation. Um, the, in that same line, they came out with a concealer, which is incredible. I love it. It has that like 
uh, like sponge tip on the other side. I love that concealer. Um, they've come out with some uh, Lunar New Year highlights that I really, really enjoy. But you know, like I keep saying, if I close my eyes and I think of Clinique, what I think of is that, um, I'll pop a picture of it because I don't have it, but I think of that square bottle light yellow lotion. I think it's like the dramatically moisturizing moisturizer. I'm totally making that up, but I feel like dramatically is in that name and it's a moisturizer. That bottle and the smell of that lotion, it's like much like the Mac Fix Plus. It's so like unique to that particular product. And I feel like whenever I even see like a Clinique ad, they'll always have that bottle. <laughs> that bottle of that light yellow lotion just sitting there and then they'll have whatever it is that they're actually advertising in front of it or whatever. But I always see that bottle of light yellow lotion. And I used to use that in high school. I think my mom got like a free bottle or something when she went to Macy's and she gave it to me. It wasn't like moisturizing enough for her because she was probably my age at that point. Um, and so, yeah, I remember using that in high school. And again, it had that really distinct scent. And again, I don't even know if it's like an added fragrance or anything, but, or just like the scent of the product. But yeah, it's so distinct to that particular product. It's like, I can close my eyes and I can smell the product. It's, it's incredible. Um, so I would say that, and, but if I had to pick like a makeup product, I'm gonna go with the Cheek Pop. Do you guys like just associate Clinique with those cheek pops? I don't really get along with those, even though they're like this Big Gelé product. You guys know how much I love Big Gelé products. I just don't really like them on my cheek. They just don't really do much for me. Um, but I think they're really, really popular. I feel like they're in a ton of shades. I see them everywhere all the time. I see people talking about it all the time. And I feel like most people, if they were to think of Clinique, that's what they would associate with the brand are those cheek pops. But again, let me know. Let me know down below in the comment section. And then the last brand I wanted to talk about is, again, a brand I don't talk about often for no reason other than maybe just nothing has really caught my eye, uh, but Estee Lauder. And when I close my eye, <laughs> when I close my eyes and I think of Estee Lauder, I always picture the double wear foundation. Now that foundation is probably the antithesis of my aesthetic. It is full coverage. It is great for oily skin, you know, all those things. Like I like light coverage. I have really dry skin. So it's not something that I'm going to run out and buy, but it is so, so popular. It is really just, it's almost like that Clinique yellow lotion. It's like always there. I feel like I always am seeing that bottle in ads, whether or not they're actually advertising it, it's always there, but it's that double wear foundation. And I have been tempted even knowing <laughs> that it's a full coverage foundation that's great for oily, normal to oily skin or whatever, I'm still tempted to get it just because, you know, so many people love it, so many people have it, I see it everywhere, and I become like really, really tempted to get it, but I don't, I don't, I, I pass on it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know uh, what some other brands or the brands that I mentioned, what some products are that come to mind uh, when you think of them. Uh, let me know down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.